Welcome back everyone. In this video, we will talk about the different types of supporting systems for buried pipelines. There are three main systems that are normally used to support buried pipelines, which are thrust plugs, line anchors, and pipeline restraint lever. We will talk about each one of these types and how does it work and what are the advantages and disadvantages of each system. First system we are going to talk about here is called thrust blocks. Thrust block is a block of reinforced concrete located directly behind the fitting we need to support. The function of this block is to resist the thrust force due to the bend using the block on weight as well as the passive pressure behind the block. Thrust blocks could be the most reliable system to resist thrust force because the concrete block is located directly behind the fitting in the opposite direction of the thrust force and it doesn't need providing any restraint joints. However, the drawback of this option is that in case of pipelines with big diameters such as 800 mm or above and in case of high pressure pipelines, the size of thrust block could be really huge and it will not be possible to provide it because you may have many other adjacent underground utilities, so there would be no place to construct the thrust block exactly behind the fitting. Second system we are going to talk about here is called line anchors. Line anchors are number of reinforced concrete blocks that are provided at both sides of the fitting. The thrust force is transferred from the fitting to these blocks through strain joints. Hence, the pipeline joints must be restrained between the two outermost blocks. This system is easier to accommodate in case of tight service corridors, however, it is less reliable than the thrust blocks, because you have to rely on restrained joints here to transfer the loads from the bend to the line anchors, and you will have the risk of excessive stresses at these joints. Third option we are going to talk about here is called restrained lab. In this option, we don't have to construct any additional structures. However, we need to provide a certain length of restraint joints at both sides of the end. And the thrust force is resisted by a combination of the friction force between the pipes and the surrounding soil, as well as the soil passive pressure behind the pipe. This option is most suitable when we have a very tight service corridor, and the underground is full of other utilities. However, it could be expensive in some projects depending on the price of these restraint joints. So this will be the end of section number one. In the next section, we will start explaining in details the design procedure of both thrust blocks and line anchors. While restraint length calculations, it shall be provided separately in a free course that it will be uploaded very soon. So thank you all and see you in section two.